What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Oh, the Mods 8 Hardcore Minecraft video. My name is Joshua GG, and I am indeed an idiot. We need another condensator, so let's go ahead and make one because we have to apparently take this stupid uh, ethylene from gas form, turn it into a liquid. I wasn't paying attention. I'm an idiot, and I am very well aware of this. And I will 110%, and I mean 110%, like, I rate myself for that, because that is 100% on me. I did not look where I needed to look, and I am now having to do the thing where I move all this stuff over again, <laughs> which is fine. Don't get me wrong. It's... It's perfectly okay. So I'm gonna take the right hand side here with gases, output to this bad boy that I just created. Okay, okay. We're gonna put this right here. I'm gonna do this and this. And then now this should, in theory, Maybe. <laughs> Hold on, where's the where's the hydrogen? <laughs> oh yeah, it's right here. Whew. Um Do I have another hydrogen one in here? I do. There we go. Okay, so that should in theory in theory, start sending the ethylene into this. It does indeed. Oh my god, that was annoying. Okay, so now we need our universal power cables. Plop this bad boy and this will turn it into liquid ethylene. <laughs> Grab our mechanical pipes. So we're going to do fluid output so I can actually get the liquid ethylene in there without this happening. Cool. So now I need to create some more pipes. Beautiful. You guys are probably yelling at me. I am so sorry, guys. Really, I... I okay, I didn't mean to do that. I truly am. I, I should have read. That is on me. I will take... I can't, I can't with this right now. It's gonna connect, oh it did, oh thank goodness. <sighs> okay, um, fluids is going to be, left is gonna be input right there, and then now, <gasps> oh my gosh, I can do this. My goodness, that was a lot worse than it should have been, <laughs> it needed to be. But now we have our HD, HDPE pellets. Holy moly, okay. Whew, an enrichment chamber, okay. I have one of those around here somewhere, I think. I genuinely have no idea what's going on in this place anymore. <laughs> I think the enrichment chamber is actually in the, um, in the main base, so. I do have one right here, but I want that dealing with my uranium. So let's go back home with the little bit of stuff that we have Throw these in our enrichment chamber right here. And then grab what we need from that. So that's going to be our, so we need this, cool. That's our refined obsidian dust, we'll do that. And then I think I have some more, no I do not, okay. Okay, cool. So now we have this, okay. Now. <laughs> That was so much. You guys were probably yelling at the screen like, do it this way, you idiot. I'm sorry. Sorry, okay? I apologize. I messed up. I know I messed up. Okay. 
So now this is a completely different thing that I'm not even worried about right now. What was I going to do these pellet, do with these pellets? I already forgot. <laughs> or this, uh, what was I doing with these sheets is what I meant to say. Um, dude, I, I got that far away from where I needed to be that now I'm just like completely lost in the sauce with what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, what were we doing? <laughs> oh no. I am not gonna, I'm doing bad. Okay. Um, I don't think I was doing anything with, I don't think it was this. What was it? What did I need those for? <laughs> what did I need these for? These, not the farming units. But I think it was actually for the improbable probability device. It was these solars to make these module bases. Yes. Okay. So awesome. Okay. So now we can go back into here, do this, and we can actually create the two that we need for that particular thing. Oh my gosh. So we still have a lot more we have to build for this. Um, the reinforced alloy is not, well, it wouldn't have been, it would have been okay if I hadn't have <laughs> turned it all into that. Um, let's do this real quick. Put those away. Um, put that away too, because I don't want to be reminded of my failures. <laughs> um, this is just infused. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, whatever. We'll do that, and we'll do this, 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 this. Goodness gracious. Okay. Turns into these. Oh boy. Okay. So now we have enough to make one of these, which we need. Now we have enough to make both of those. Okay, cool. So we have what we need for these two. We just need the polonium pellets now, which the polonium pellets requires polonium, which to get that, we need a solar neutron activator and nuclear waste. Go ahead and I don't think I made one of those already, did I? Hold on. No, I did not. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look. We just need another one of these, which we can make. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Another one of these, which we can make. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we can make this. Sweet. So let's go back. And this is where things get a little wonky here, okay? Because the nuclear weight. That was weird. Um, yeah, by the way, don't, if you ever are, you know, doing craziness like this, don't stand like right here, teleport home and then do the back command because you will end up in there, like under that cable. I'm not saying that from personal experience or anything. Uh, <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plop this down right here. This is a solar thing. So it's going to require solar energy, sort of. Um, which I think I have a way to go about doing that. So I'm going to grab some more tubes. These bad boys. Temperature's still good. Okay. Um, I do need to make more of these, actually. Let me do tube. Um, we'll make more of these. Should be fine. Cool. Okay. That gives us plenty more. So now we'll do this. We will bring this out here. And now, is that the right nuclear waste? That nuclear waste is filling up right there. Um, Let's do this. It's true. It's just... 
let's try this right here. Let's plop that down right there and then go into our bag, grab this bad boy out, and then we'll plop this down right here so it does connect to the front, which I don't think I should have it connected to the front. Um, maybe. Okay, so it's not pulling that nuclear waste. Or maybe it's because... I really don't want to do this. Um, do gases and then push. Still not pushing there. I'm a little hesitant to do this. Okay. Okay. So now it does that. So, it doesn't really, okay, hold on. <laughs> it kind of makes it difficult to do anything solar related when there's no sunlight. So let us <laughs> do this. <laughs> and then now we go back, and I wanna see, because I'm curious about this because, um, cool, will not decay inside a radioactive waste barrel. Now, how do I turn this into what I need? Nuclear waste can be sent into an isotopic centrifuge to create plutonium. Sending the plutonium into a pressurized reaction chamber with water and fluorite dust will give you plutonium pellets. So... Let's see. Uh, gas. gonna see if I can find a I guess a flu can a fluid tank hold on chemical tank can do gases right yeah let's try a chemical tank let's see No, it cannot. Okay. So... Hmm. Nuclear waste can be sent into this. Okay, pumping nuclear waste into it will give you plutonium. Run the... Pl uh, oh. Pol polonium. Run the polonium through a pressurized reaction chamber with some fluorite dust. Ooh. <sighs> Worse. Just make another one of these then, shall we? that and then now I'm gonna need the tube again yeah tube that's the that's the elite I want the ultimate which I think that I didn't use all the ultimate ones did I oh no they're right in my inventory duh wait what Oh, it's in here now. Okay. And then I need, said I needed fluorite. Isn't that what I said I needed? Oh, fluorite dust. Yes. How could I forget? Um, do I have a crusher around here somewhere? Cool. Okay. <laughs> We're learning. We're done learning. Okay. I'd be screwed if I didn't have this suit on. 
Okay, so I'm going to need energy for this, though. Because um, it doesn't have any energy. So... Pressurized reaction chamber, right? Yes. With fluorite dust, run the. Right? Jeez. It's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, let me see here. Has energy. Has fluorite dust, has this stuff. Why? <laughs> and water. Oh, that might be a thing to mention <laughs> in a quest line. I don't understand why I can't. Ugh. Sorry. I don't have a bucket of water. Luckily, I have a sink right over here. This is way too convoluted for me and I feel like I'm making this a lot harder than it needs to be and I'm aware that this is probably not how most of you guys have done your stuff but alas cool <laughs> I I'm sorry <laughs> okay I don't know why I put that so far away um That's a... No, okay. Ha-ha! I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I think that was... This has been a nightmare of a series so far. <laughs> okay. And this is making spent nuclear waste, which I assume I'm going to need to take the spent nuclear waste and put that into a... Ultimate universal cables. Cool. Okay. It can be sent into an isotopic centrifuge to create plutonium. That's the next thing I'm gonna need. Now what, what okay, so before I do anything. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's take a look sees here um, and take a, just a gander at what I'm gonna need for whatever this thing is called, the isotopic centrifuge. So let's take a gander. Isotopic. Okay, let's see. I, I've already created one of these. One. Oh my gosh. <sighs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Okay. 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 Sending the plutonium into a pressurized reaction chamber with some water and fluorite dust will give you plutonium pellets. So literally the exact same thing I got going on over there. So you know what? make all this stuff again because why not I'm so glad I have all these resources <laughs> available to me <laughs> while I'm here let's make another bucket of water or make another get another bucket of water make another sink yeah Everything's fine. 
because it just says right here, basically the exact same thing. So let's go back. I hope it's not raining in the mining dimension because that is annoying. Beautiful, okay. So then, I'll do that, I'll just do this. Okay, cool. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna plop this down right here. And then I think I'm gonna need, this is a pressurized tube, which I have some right here. I'm gonna do this right here. Cool, okay. So now, gas, input from the back. Now this should be pulling. There's no power to it, not yet. Grab another flux point. Plop this bad boy right there. Because why not? Okay, so now we need this. We need this. We need my... need what is this pressurized tube again cool okay so this is going to start pulling gas input and guess what no power <laughs> no energy nothing so we have these though So guess what? We have that stuff now. So let's go back over here. I think that I put, grabbed all of that stuff. So let me make, grab some more fluorite. Come on, make them. Make a couple more of these. Oh boy. <laughs> this is such a nightmare. You guys are probably like, you did so much. <laughs> Wait, what? Um. Oh, that's why. Okay. So I'm going to turn this one off real quick and let this do its thing. I don't know how much plutonium I'm going to need for this to work. Because it did say fluorite dust, right? Fluorite dust will give you... Yep. It's water, plutonium, and fluorite dust. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I promise you guys. I am doing my very best right now. I'm trying very hard to get what I need done. Oh boy. I just need the antimatter pellets. That's all I need. Yeah, see, um, So this should work. Oh my goodness. This is barely filling. Okay, so we'll let that do its thing for a little bit. But this is, <laughs> this is getting ugly. <laughs> Look how terrible this looks. Oh, goodness gracious. We can start putting this stuff away, though. Um, wow, I am... I'm beyond myself. I'm, I'm so thrilled with how, how far we have come. <laughs> In such a short time. I hate it here. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have to do a lot of stuff just to get up to the antimatter pellets, um, just to be able to make the ATM star. Which, like I said, I don't 
know if, I don't think there's another way to make antimatter pellets. Um, cause you need antimatter and the antimatter comes from the antimatter pellets. And really that's like the only thing for that, but you can see how, like what all is used for this kind of stuff. So, oh boy. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. So it is working. So now we should be able to unlock that quest. So now, Cool, it gives us steel. I'm so happy. So now we got to do a lot. So the SPS, or the Super Critical Phase Shifter, is another multi-block structure used to infuse polonium with antimatter, or with a large amounts of power to create antimatter gas, which can be crystallized into pellets. To build the SPS, you'll need to make a total of 72 SPS casings 60 for the build, 12 to make the ports, 3 SPS ports, 122 reactor glass, and one other item we'll talk about in the next quest. Let's get the materials first. Then we, of course, need to supercharge it, and there's a whole lot to do with this. And that's obviously going to be something that we'll do in the long term. I'm genuinely not expecting to do any of this stuff. So... I need to figure out what to do with this stuff. Um, maybe I could do another one of those nuclear waste ban bins. Um, let's see. Nuclear or waste. Radioactive would probably be a better better term for that. So let's make one or more of these, and then we'll plop it down right here. And then, um, obviously, we'll need to do this right here. And what we'll do from there is we'll grab you. No, I didn't want that on the top. My goodness gracious. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then what we'll do from this is we'll create, we'll make, um, grab some pressurized tubing real quick. And then what we'll do here is plop, plop, plop. And then now we will go gases, Top output. Gases. Top output. And then now you see that's empty. This is not filling up very quickly, but it is allowing us to maintain some type of uh, stuff here. So this right here is absolutely going to take a while. Um, it just seems like all of that is being, I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm still very new to this, and this is this is absolutely something that is um, kind of a nightmare to me. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take before I end up blowing something over here up. I I pretty much pardoned it off this way though, so that I could do like different sections in different areas. And the the piece here, the super critical phase shift, I'm likely going to do right here, building this quadrant or this chunk, um, and pretty much just uh, link it to this power source right here because this has a total of, well, um, a lot of power. So now what we can do here is I can do this and then I can, well, I guess get rid of this one, grab it back and then do that. And then that should power this up, take the power down significantly and then that will power that up. And then now this will still slowly lose power which is fine we do want that to happen um, but the idea here is I can take this right here speed it up if I need to and pretty much connect this fission to any other device that I need it to be connected to for instance I can go back home so I'm gonna need to go back home anyway um, go in here and then go into my energizer and you'll see this is still working, but now I can actually see this is pulling a significant more amount. So if we go back into our alloys here, remember we had 13 earlier. Now we're up to, um, oh, that's right. Cause I'm making these, um, which is, yeah, which is the ones we want. Cool. So let me go back to alloy. And then we'll do this right here, make another one of these blocks. So now we have two of these. Wait, right? 
Oh, cool, dude. <laughs> Which I think I actually have another one um, tucked away in one of the chests upstairs. In the, I have more than one, actually. How many do I have in here? I do have one. Okay. So we're up to three now, which means we are currently 10% of the way done with this one. So that's good so far. And we do have the material to make at least one of these, but making the awakened um, is going to be quite, actually, no, hold on. Hmm. Hold on. This actually is not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. Let's go do that. Let's go do one of those real quick. You guys want? You guys cool with that? I'm cool with that. So we'll do this right here. Grab you, and then now we'll go downstairs. We have a little bit of time. Well, we're over 30 minutes, but it should be fine. So now we'll run over here. We just need 40 of these. 40 of each. So we'll do. 32, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 32, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 32, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Apparently, that's, apparently I don't know how to stop counting properly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sweet. Okay. So now we have those that we need. And now we need unobtainium, or two unobtainium blocks and our two vibranium blocks, which I do have right here. See, I was actually preparing to do this um, earlier on, um, but I just kind of didn't. <laughs> I didn't want them there. Okay. Um, Plop you down right there, and then now I thought I I guess I'd remove the lever. Cool. <laughs> okay, did cool. Okay, so now we have the one awakened, which I mean I think is pretty daggum good. So. We'll make the second one once we have the, uh, the last few materials that we'll need for it. Um, really, we don't need that much. We just need five more. It's not too bad. But I think that's going to do this video. So let's go ahead and plop this into our chest here. And so far, you can see we have a couple things so far finished. We have the... Um, the Dragon Soul completed right here. We're still waiting on a couple things for the Wither's Compass. The Creative Essence, we're far away from finishing that one. Three out of the uh, ridiculous amount. We have the Patrick Star. We don't have anything going on for the Nether Stars just yet, even though I probably could make those. We have a lot of the stuff for the Improbability Probability Device, or Improbable Probability Device. Uh, nothing for the Pulsating Black sh Hole. We have the Oblivion Shard. We have one of those, and we have a good amount of stuff for the Philosopher's Fuel. So, we're making progress and i'm excited about that and we're going to continue making progress until the point to where we can create and set up the atm star but that's going to do this video thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a thumbs up if you didn't leave a comment down below let me know what i could do better to make these videos more entertaining for you guys remember to hit that subscribe button if you have not already we're aiming for 250 subs by april 21st which i think is a plausible goal so with that being said thank you guys so very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video later guys